Kashi and there's a students festival here and today I ran into Ramrai Naik, someone who I knew for a, know for a long long time online Yes. and the reason we know each other is Pinnacle tell us about Pinnacle Ramrai, Professor Ramrai now he's, he's teaching at the law college so Pinnacle we began in 2018 when I was student I found that we especially I needed a platform where I could debate and discuss on a lot of topics that happens in our world. Political uh, science? Po not just political science, okay. but any topic under the sun, we wanted to discuss and debate. And I didn't find that kind of group uh, whom I could debate with. So I, along with a bunch of my other friends, Norman Fernandez, Shailesh Tanpure, we got along, started this club. Uh, we initially began with Department of Political Science, and one of the very first topic was on education itself. It was the new higher education bill which was supposed to convert UGC into new higher education. So we began uh, with that discussion and we found that in the very first discussion, we attracted a lot of students even from the science uh, streams. I see. I see. And uh, when we saw that, we found that there is this discussion, enthusiasm is not just among the social sciences because I come from social science and uh, I come from political science. So, then we had a very good first discussion. How was it held in physical? physical it was in a physical uh, form. It was, in, uh, it was held in Department of Political Science itself. In one of the classrooms, we had that discussion. I think all together, there were around 40 participants, along with the faculty members from the other, uh, other, other disciplines. So, we had that discussion. After that, we thought that uh, if we only conduct discussion in Political Science Department, we would attract, attract only few sort of students. So why don't we take it to some other department or something? So that is when we took it to Department of International Relations. Now it is Department of International Relations. Earlier it was the uh, Latin American, uh, Center for Latin America. And the topic there was? The topic there was, uh, I think it was uh, US-China trade war. So there we called two experts, two of the industry experts I had called. One from the Pai Kane group, second from the, uh, I'm forgetting the name. Okay. Uh, Second, but yeah. both were the industry perspective, plus we had some professors who were IR expert, international relation domain experts, so they gave a very world view. Uh, the industry expert gave how they would suffer, because even though this war is happening between the two countries, the ramification is in the entire world. So how the supply chain, how the manufacturing, everything suffers because of this US-China trade war. What were the other subjects uh, so that there you were, all took there up? Were, there were a lot of other topics uh, that we took, especially in the... Then after that we had also gone to Department of History. I see. There we had taken the topic of Uniform Civil Code. So there, uh, because Uniform Civil Code is a topic which is very, uh, very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people did not understand. So. We were glad that one of the professors from history uh, actually volunteered uh, to just explain us about the topic at least for 20 minutes. She has she had given the brief about the topic, the entire thing. Mm -hmm. She had uh, actually uh, uh, kind of simplified it for us, yeah. and then we had a discussion. So it was better in that sense. Then we went to uh, women's studies. I see. And we went to so many other departments. Uh, Range right. of topics. Yeah, lot of lot, lot of topics. I think all together we have done around more than 25 discussions. Wow. And during the pandemic you all kept it active yes. also. Yes. So during the pandemic was another interesting thing that uh, uh, I had just recently graduated that year. So I had completed my masters and uh, we, uh, and because that is the year I graduated, I did not know that the crowd that I found earlier to discuss in universities, how do I do the same thing? And it was very easy thing for us to go on an online platform. Online that made is, it more simple. Yeah, it was it was more simpler. And that time nobody was having any such discussions during that time. Yeah. Every we would only follow news uh, and only uh, read articles about the things, the situations that are unfolding in the education scenario. So we thought that. Uh, the first discussion should be discussing about the education itself because we were hearing about a lot of issues about teachers, students facing uh, due to connectivity because online had already started okay. that time okay. uh, and we thought of having that discussion focusing on the education. 
what is basically happening in education of Goa. So today we are sitting in uh, this Goa Business School. One of yeah. the professor Ram Rao uh, was one of the lead discussant for that uh, topic. So he uh, basically spoke about the side that what Goa University is doing, what Goa University is planning to do for the for the upcoming uh, few months, how they are preparing. So he laid out that plan. We had other professor joining in, telling about how to cope up. We had some young young faculty member, young students. Uh, telling about how we can adopt this online platform. So basically, we started with that topic. So there were critical perspectives also coming. Yes, in? yes, there were there were critical perspectives because our all our discussion, most of our discussion, have been open discussion. Uh, we had kept lead discussion. Okay. Uh, two or three lead discussion used to be there for our discussions only for the sake that we know about what we are discussing. Set the tone. Set, set, the, set tone. the tone for the entire debate or discussion. Yeah. But after that, after they speak, it was open, open to it was open to everyone. One of the good thing about uh, when we did the online discussion was uh, now the audience was not just limited to Goa University students right. or Goa University professor. It was everyone yeah, yeah. because the when we had. send the invite, it through or through. Uh, groups it reached to everyone sir you were one of the yeah. person no, no. who popularized our events yeah. uh, and through that we got a lot of people so then we received a very uh, diverse range of views especially from college teachers I see. Uh, especially from students from different parts of different corners of Goa amazing amazing yeah. story and yes. I think these uh, small clubs have a big role to play in that yes sense. yes yes so so pinnacle why did the name come about? How did the name come yes, about? Yes, so Pinnacle, the name was very simple. Uh, there was one event that used to happen here called as Platonica. Platonica. Goa University plateau, yeah. is already uh, on the uh, plateau. Pinnacle is something, it's a top of the peak. Higher. Right? So I was just thinking of names. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't want the name to be like a, disc a normal academic formal, name formal, or something. Formal. So we wanted a very catchy name. Okay. So that is how the Pinnacle So was. the name is Pinnacle? Pinnacle Discussion Club. Uh, but we would also call it Pinnacle series because the discussion series okay. that would go on. Lot and of the different. professors also supported it. Yes, professors, uh, a lot of professors, uh, especially Department of Political Science. Professor Raul Tripathi is one of the person because initiating any such thing in university, you do require yeah. a support yeah. from yeah. the uh, from yeah. from the faculty members, and that support we it always. It should not received. be seen as misuse or. Yeah, yeah, it should not be seen as misuse. And one more thing, we had very much clarified. Uh, within the first two discussion, we had drafted our constitution I of the see. pinnacle. So the constitution said that any topic that we would take up, we would only go forward with that topic if the uh, department agrees, yeah. that particular department agrees. Because we did not want it to misunderstanding. Do, uh, we did not want it to do any such activity where we look as a uh, where we look as we are doing activism. Yeah. Because something subversive or, yes. or discipline, dis causing disciplinary problems. Yes, so we did not want to attract that kind of thing. Our main motive was academic discussions. Okay. So, and to get students to talk. Which was the most interesting discussion ever in your the, view? The, the most discussing, I think the first discussion we had the yes. online uh, education on the, uh, the the problems that education education in Goa was facing At that after point. the COVID point. It was tough, no? No uh, one knew where that, you were heading. That was the most interesting, I would say, because that is how suddenly everyone came on the platform and they were actually uh, sharing their frustration because nobody knew what to do. May, door, May 2020, when was this? It was April? in, uh, I think, end of April 2020. Just the start of the pandemic yes. and lockdowns were yes. there and we didn't know what was happening and yes. how it would end. And but fortunately, we had platforms like Google Meet, okay, uh, yeah. which we could use. A lot of people would use Zoom, but we could only afford Google Meet, which was free platform that okay. time. And Google had provided free access. Up to 100 users. Up yeah. to, no, no, I think that time the, okay. there, was, there was no restriction. Academic initially, academic. initially there was no okay, restriction. Okay, okay, okay. So we could use that, very much exploit that platform that time. Yes. Nice. Very interesting uh, story. Apart, apart from that, sir, we also had some guest session, uh, some lectures. That one of the lecture was on uh, one student who had just got admission into London School of Economics. I see. Is Ak Samant. Uh, he had got admission, so basically we invited him. I see. Uh, about 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 his experience, his journey, how he got into such a prestigious yeah. university, so that other students could also. From my get economics stream, economics. He joined into law. I see law. And uh, we just wanted to know from his experience. I see. We had another uh, guest lecture by Fevita Dikosta, 
uh, one of the faculty member from Goa University herself. So she shared her experience belonging to a tribal community about her experience into joining Goa University yeah. and all such okay. things. So we also had some of the national guests, uh, Dr. Manisha Priyam is one of the prominent face in the educational scenario nationally in Delhi. So I she see. was the one who had joined us for another such discussion uh, along with Kostub Naik who had got into University of Pennsylvania okay. back then. Okay. So he, we discussed about new education policy okay. uh, with both I of remember, them. I remember, I yeah, remember. Yeah, maybe you were there at so that time. I, I, no, I know the subject here. Yeah. Yes, yes. But uh, tell me, what would it take to keep a club like this going? Is it easy? Is it tough? What's the toughest part? Can it be replicated? Can it be... See, the toughest part is, first of all, you should, not know, you should know that if you are organizing any such event of that kind, uh, uh, the initiative should come from yourself. There will not, you will not get any sort of funding. Yeah. Nobody will dedicate any day for you to have this kind of event. Yeah. You have to finalize, go to meet professors, yeah. uh, speak to HODs and finalize a day. So, uh, one of the interesting things that I would share is, when we would go to meet a lot of professors, so we, I would tell you that I spoke to most, almost all the professors, HODs, to have such a discussion. Some of the professors uh, uh, would say yes to us, but they wouldn't tell the date. Okay. When so I would first only go with a date in advance. Okay. So I would keep one month advance date, uh, so that I tell them, sir, this is the I date. See. Uh, we would like to have an event. Are you free? Uh, do you uh, is your uh, department having any activity? Okay. So when I would go with that date, they would have either no they would choice. Say yes yeah, they would say a, yes. Or give an alternative date. Yes. Oh yes, they would either say <laughs> yes or give an alternative yeah, date. Yeah, so I would yeah, say yeah. if not that day, maybe ten days later, yeah. someday or fifteen days yeah. later. But uh, that saying yes and not not reflecting on it was not yeah. an issue because I had learned it very after two in, or three activities. In Goa, that is a problem. The intentions because, are good, but yes, delivery yes. is is so not. So people good. people say yes, but they try don't to deliver. stall. They do, stall. They stall. they basically don't reflect on yeah, that yeah, uh, yeah. earlier commitment. Does so, it cost money? It wouldn't cost any money. Okay. Just that some of the times uh, some of the students and some of the faculty members would. Uh, sponsor refreshment ah, for the for physical the meeting. Physical meeting. So it would be some of the one of another professor who have supported us, okay. uh, Professor Yugang Naik. He teaches at the Department of yeah. International Relations now. Okay. So he is another person who has supported us. Uh, other professor also from uh, that department had supported so us. So time and planning is the main input. Yes. So, so basically, you have to get the time yeah. and. Uh, when you are holding it, what is the topic? Because those are the things we would discuss among ourselves. Uh, I was there and uh, Shailesh Tankure, who, who was there along with me. So we would discuss about these two things, time and topic, and the approval from the professor, and then just go ahead. Uh, release a poster, because after you release yeah. a poster, it's we done. wouldn't... Uh, it's done, it's done. Yeah. So from our side, it's done. Then we would need some moderator for the discussion. Yeah. Most of the time, I would be the moderator, but sometimes I would also. I mean, I tried a lot to encourage other people to moderate, but if I didn't find anyone, then I yeah. would be the one. Uh, yeah. And then, once you start the discussion, then people would just speak. Yeah, it so flows. It flows. It it just flows. Yeah. Very nice, fantastic. Yes. Uh, it's a very good ex experiment. Yes. I hope there are many more pinnacles. Yes, yes, yes. Today also, if you go to Department of Political Science. You will see a huge uh, uh, poster with all our activities, I almost uh, 25 activities will be listed on it. If you just visit the Department of Political okay. Science, you will actually see. It's called uh, Political Science Program now, so this name changes yeah. have happened yeah. in Goa University. Department has become a program. Department has become a pro uh, program. Yeah. Yes. All the best. Yes. Thank you, sir. Ram Rai, all the best. Thank you so much.